Hey everybody, welcome to my first ever instructional video. I got a lot of requests for this, so I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna show you how to detune the vibraphone. Detuning seems to be all the rage these days, and it's a pretty simple process, but before we get started, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an explanation of exactly why it works. So, let's talk physics. The frequency of a free bar is determined by, well, a lot. Its length, its density, its radius of gyration, Young's modulus, which measures the elasticity of the material, a dimensionless bar parameter that's determined by the end state of the bar and its vibrational mode, and the restoring force of the bar. So it's complicated, but luckily for us, there's only one variable that we can actually change, and that's density. Density is mass per volume. So if we can change the mass of the bar without significantly changing the volume, we can change the pitch. We can't remove mass because that would, of course, permanently damage the instrument. So we're gonna be looking to add mass and we're gonna to need to do it with something that is itself already pretty dense. Fortunately, I have just the thing. It's called caulk cord weather seal, and it comes in a roll that looks like this. Uh, you might know it by the brand name Mortite. I'm using an off-brand, but it's the same basic product. You should be able to get either cheaply at any hardware store. It's dense, putty-like, so it's easy to mold, and it's fairly sticky, which actually is going to help us quite a bit. We're gonna tear off a chunk, smush it up, and we're gonna put it on the bar. We can put it in a couple places. So, if we put it on the node, it's not gonna produce much of a change. Hardly different at all. Where it produces significant change, is if we put it in the middle of the bar. But it's right in our striking zone. So the best place to put it is right on the end. Either end will work. Sometimes splitting it up between both ends gives you the best sound. You'll notice the bars still lose a fair amount of resonance, and that's really unavoidable. Two things you can do to help with that, you can press the putty nice and firmly into the bar, and you can distribute it evenly between both ends of the bar rather than putting it all at one end. You'll also notice that the lower bars lose a lot more resonance than the upper bars. What that means is you can really only detune the lower end by about a quarter tone before you lose almost all the resonance of the bar versus the high register where you can detune things by as much as a half step without losing most of the resonance. So now we're ready to detune. For this video, I'm gonna be tuning two octaves of a just major ninth, a nine four interval in just intonation, divided equally into four parts. This will give me a nine note scale that goes from F3 to A5. When tuned precisely, we should get two sequences of just fifths, offset from each other by 351 cents, an interval that's right in between a major and minor third. There are multiple ways to approach figuring this all out. Here's one method. Or you could just use one of the free tools I've made on Google Drive. It does all the math for you. Just follow the link in the description. To get started, I'd recommend printing out a tuning sheet so that you know exactly what frequency you need each note to be. You're going to need to pull up a tuner, one that shows the frequency of the note and not the sense. To tune things precisely is going to take a lot of trial and error. It's going to be made more difficult by the fact that as we're detuning, the overtones of the bar are going to get wonky, and the tuner is going to go all over the place at first when you strike the bar. So you kind of have to wait for it to settle a little bit, 
and get it as close as you can on average. Okay, I finally got it. All told, it takes a long time to get all of this set. Now that I'm done, I've decided to create some labeled plastic baggies for the putty so that I can replicate the tuning without having to start the whole thing over from scratch. Here's what it sounds like. Just a few more notes before we wrap things up. Cleaning more tight off of the bars is pretty simple. Pull it up, it might leave some residue behind. You can gently scrape that off, and it might also leave behind a little bit of like a film or a little crust, which can be very easily cleaned off with just a dab of cymbal polish. I wouldn't leave the more tight on for longer than you need because it tends to leave more gunk behind the longer you leave it on. Also. I would very strongly advise you do not do this to a marimba. Cleaning this stuff off of metal bars is easy, but I think you'd cause some serious damage to wooden bars if you were to try to do this to a marimba or a xylophone. And lastly, a side note to the composers, it's a very time-consuming process to tune these pitches precisely. For example, these nine notes took me two hours to tune with precision, so please be very careful when you ask a performer to do this. All right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my guide. I'm gonna wrap things up with a short improvisation so that you can really hear what the scale sounds like. It's really beautiful. If you feel like you got some value out of this demo and you'd like to give me a one-time tip, you can do that at the link here, or there's also a link in the description. I would be extremely grateful for any support you choose to give. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.